day. I get the idea into my head that I can hike can deep into. Oh, I really? really read all this. Huh. I don't even have green hair anymore, whoa, whoa. so I might as well just change it. Oh? Huh? What was that? Uh -huh. The Dover ghost. The Dover ghost, I guess. Can't remember his voice. I chuckle nervously this time. He doesn't seem like he's messing with me. Or maybe someone illegally dumping garbage in on wild, on a wildlife preserve. <clears throat> yeah, that's the story we all tell huh? ourselves. I feel like I should have read all that, but it's alright. It's too late now. We sit in silence for a little while longer to feel whatever that was slowly subsiding as we get closer to the <sighs> city. Thanks for coming out. This was fun. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've just been... In a way, lately, I had to get out of the house, thought. <coughs> had to be around somebody. You doing okay, man? Mm -hmm. I would think for a second and lights mm -hmm. another cigarette. Mm -hmm. I... I'm doing a lot of thinking. It takes a long drag. <sighs> As I get older, I feel more than that I'm just drowning in the sea of regret. I'm so busy chasing after these things that I thought would make me happy that I didn't even think about anyone else or that I care about was myself. I didn't even think. <laughs> Robert stops. I wait for him to finish uh, to his thought, but he just stares at the world. Maybe I'm just built like this. Oh. <clears throat> or maybe I do it to myself. Maybe it's my own choice that I'm I as happy as I unhappy as I am. I try to think of something as I remember all the times in my life when I've been sad. And there's been a great many of them, but there are always a light at the end of the tunnel. Something I held onto that kept me going. <coughs> but there's something so resigned about the way Robert's talking. Oh, I don't know what to say. Um... I'm glad you told me that sucks. Maybe we deserve to be eaten by the Dover ghost. Um, not, definitely not the last one. That sucks. That really sucks. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah, it sucks, all right. Oh, fuck. We drive the rest of the way in silence, listening to the radio and watching bright lights of the city grow bigger. Robert drops me off at my place, and when I was about to close the door, I realized I still have Robert's pocket knife in my jacket I pulled out of it. Huh. You hold on, if you hold on to that when you need, you might need it. Night, Robert, have a safe drive home. Robert smokes and pulls away. He imme then immediately pulls into his driveway, which is one over from mine. He gets out and waves. I tiptoe into the house, careful not to wake Amanda up. Whoa, where do you come from? <coughs> I look around and spot Amanda coming out of the kitchen with a glass of water. <coughs> I thought you were sleeping. Oh, uh, Robert woke me up to go cryptid hunting. Thought. Yeah. You know the moth man is bullshit, right? Amanda, lay. You know what? It's fine. Huh. I finally decided to go to bed. Did I get... Not bad, shooter. Well, that's alright. It's a B. It's been a long day. And I was about ready to pack it in. About two bites of ice cream from the freezer. I turn off all the lights and walk down to the hall in my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. This kid needs some sleep. There's a possible thing. She oh, I think I already read this. Oh, 
it, I'll leave you be. I have no idea why she's so obsessed. She seems totally normal. I feel awful leaving her crying. But I also get the feeling if I tried to do something else, it would have made her more upset. The best friend. All right. Oh. Oh. Does he poop the bed too? <laughs> no, Dad. Please stick with me. It's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports, bruh. I have nice and smart children who are good at some computers, bruh. Alright. Aw, oh, man, got to hear from you, buddy. What's up? I'm still strong. <laughs> strong. I, I'm, I am strong. Ta, don't I know it. Yeah, I've been reading up about whey protein. You use that at all? I figured it would help me develop a bit more muscle, same. <laughs> yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party and they wanted to invite to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on here. You are also invited. Physical invitation to follow. Cool, I'd love to come. I let Amanda know. Thank you, Amanda's dad. Attend that party. <laughs> what? <laughs> Coffee time. You know, dads love coffee. Gotta brew myself something black as midnight on moonless night. I put on a fresh pot and work on a few work jumbles while I wait for it to brew. Hey, this one sm spells sorrow. Dad, ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gotta tackle it head on. No, are you ready for that for the thing that we're gonna do today? That thing that you promised you would do. Honey, I told you. I'm not going to throw away my Tom Clancy novels. They're just stacked in the living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over. And you don't even read them. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. Tea party. Dad. Nope, I don't remember that. Text hmm. kids. That hand-drawn invitation. Uh. Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on the street of computer paper. I'm inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. He spelled Cordially wrong. Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going. I can't, I can go outside in my sweatpants. Nothing's stopping me. That just, I'll see you in a minute. Fuck Dorothy. <laughs> What did I say about the pants? I'm rebel, sweetie. Hmm. Whatever, I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh. Hello, thank you for coming to our tea party. I'll do our best. Bow, bow in dessert present for my daughter. <laughs> I do my best bow and present and present my daughter, who thanks them with a courtesy. This way, please. Briar and Hazel need us to... A small table with tiny chairs. Some are occupied with stuffed animals, and Matt and his daughter, Carmen Sita, are here too. Matt raises a commonly small plastic cup that may. Hey, dude. How's the tea? Hey. The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful. I taste a hint of lemongrass. Hello, Carmen Sita. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. Did you just wake up? Uh, no. Why? 
Those are inside bags. <laughs> and I laugh. Please have a seat. I sit down between Amanda and Matt. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of here. Hi, everyone. I turn to see Daisy and Brian enter into the backyard and take the seat next to us. Sorry we're late. Daisy made me put on going outside pants. Amanda punches me on the shoulder. See? Oh, so you approve of cargo pants when you're on Brian, but not when you're on me. Dad, you're embarrassing me at the tea party. This is high class affair. But... Shh, it's about to start. Thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules for... Some high tea. Now, if you all put on your designated tea hours, ah. there are little tea hours sitting on everyone's plate, well, except for Brian, says it's a soft foul helmet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we ran out of tea hours. Uh. I don't think this is going to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Dad, your royalty, please act like it. Uh -huh. Brian tries to balance the ill fitting foot soft foul helmet on top of his head, but immediately tumbles in the uh. bushes. I'll get that later. Hey, everybody. Craig comes out with a teapot and tray of sandwich cookies. Dad, is that is the tea ready? Hmm? Uh, yeah, bro, but it's been um steeping for a while now. Awesome. Would you girls like to serve out guest tea? No, thank you. We much appreciate our servant's help. Craig leans over. Oh. That's me, bro. Crack places teacup in front of us and a single sandwich cookie onto our plate. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm. Awfully fluorescent tea. I cling my teacup with knives and take a shot. Good lemonade. It's tea. Hey. Right. Very good tea. I lean over to Amanda, who happily enjoys her tea. So, what do we do at tea parties? Hmm. We enjoy the splendors of upper class society, father. She takes a dainty bite of a sandwich cookie. Marvelous. Why is someone calling me now? I don't even know who this is. So the prince the meeting of princesses has been called to order. Hear, hear. But I'm warrior princess. I hunt and stuff. I have like a really cool sword. Can I be a base prince princess? I'll allow it. And I'll be a princess. I'm also a space princess. Can there be more than one? Hmm. Space is pretty big, don't you think? Change my mind. I want to be a space princess too. Hmm. Dad, what are you? Do I get to be a princess? Duh. Well, I guess that makes me... Wood boy princess. If I drop my crown on the floor, I'll make sure to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Nice. <laughs> I think I'll be landscaper and general contracting princess. Uh -oh. Who is the princess reporting for duty? Hey, hey everybody, CrossFit princess here. Bruh. Not now, servant. <sighs> But if it weren't for the princess uprising, it wouldn't have been. It would be me serving you, bro. We sip tea a little longer. Then the girls went off to fight dinosaurs as big as well. Star warrior princesses, I think. I grew up so fast. I it was just. It was like yesterday. I was helping Amanda draw her own tea party. Did she make you a servant too? You betcha. Come and see them make me actually brew teas for her pitfalls. Of owning a coffee shop. Oh. Before, your custom blends are amazing. That hibiscus one you gave me was a while back was choice, bro. Mm. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's really nice the girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved into this community. Oh. We are too. Amanda's been <laughs> kind of a role model to them, you know? I hadn't even realized that I don't even know if Amanda does either. But I guess you're right. All the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of her way to play with, to play with them. I'm so proud of her. You better not proud dad cry at this tea party, Charlie. Thought. I brought extra wood jumpers. Does anybody want to kill some time with the girl while the girls play? 
day rolls on and the girls get all get tuckled out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, promising she'll send them the best ones later. We all clean up and help them put away tea sets and tables, and then head out as Daisy and Carmen see that fall asleep on that on their dad's shoulders. Hmm. Take care, take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, good boy, princess. <laughs> you want dinner? Nah, I'm filled up on cookies. Me too. I'm tired. Dude, same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all start pretending to see one your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting in a good way, but also in a kind of scary way. How so? I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't want to let them down. Is that because you feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? Hey. I corrupted her dad. She secondhand smokes now. While this, those kids look up to you, I'm glad they have you as a role model. Mm -hmm. Sucks, Pops. I ruffle Amanda's hair. Pet every dog. Yes. Welcome. You've got dads. I haven't spoken to Robert since that night we drove out to his thinking spot. He seemed to unusually so somber then? Like more so than the usual amount of somber that Robert is, which is already a lot. I've been thinking about him and hope he's doing okay, but I've been a little reluctant, reluctant to reach out to him. Charlie? Hey Charlie, guess who's getting their drink on tonight? I take a look at my bag book next to this, there's a flurry of them from Robert. Yes, it's you. Also me, but mostly you. Yeah dude, I type back to Robert. Robert, buddy, tonight we ride. Yes. <laughs> he's drunk. He's already drunk. Not that I'm unappreciative, but I think this is the first time that Robert's given me more than an hour's warning before hanging out. Amanda. Amanda pops her head into the drive, into the hallway. Music I don't recognize blaring from her room. Uh. What's up? I'm hanging out with Robert later tonight. Okay, cool. Robert, who is my friend? I have friends. I'm happy for you, Dad. People enjoy my company. Dad, I'm so happy for you. For your continued development as a human being. What are you listening to? Sad shit. I don't give a fuck anymore. Amanda Lay. You know what? You're an adult now. I have I gave it an earnest effort for all 18 years of your life. Go forth and swear. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I really hope I don't leave that this later. Amanda goes back to her into her room and turns up the volume to her sad shit. I'm going to I'm put on my going out coke and walk over to Jim and Kim's. I spot Robert leaning on the back on against the brick wall smoking a cigarette. As I get closer, I realize he looks a little different. Cleaner, I guess. He seems like he's comb combs his hair and his co clothes are less wrinkled than usual. Hey. Hey. You take a shower just for me? I'm working on my relationship with existence. We both stand there for a second and don't say anything. Robert finishes his cigarette and abruptly goes inside. I follow him. By the time I get inside, Robert a boot in the back and claim it for us. Robert slides and hands me a glass. To us. Gives to us and all the property damage and petty larceny that we may commit tonight. We cling with speech and I want to sip this rather than his traditional um, approach of slamming the whiskey back as quickly as possible. So what's the plan for tonight? Pick some other bars, maybe grab some pizza. I think they'll kill some time while we go burn that abandoned home. <laughs> that old abandoned house in the woods. <coughs> it's definitely not as fun as if it's abandoned. Huh? Mary pops over the back of the group, a glass of wine in her hands. She punches Robert in his shoulder. Where was my phone call? <coughs> 
Molly tip it, you will receive sinking your teeth into some pearl sap. I am, he's right there. I look around the booth and see a guy sitting across from her. He waves. <sighs> you replacing me with the new kid? Mary? I can never replace you. What 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 I want you to or not? And he said the size next one. The guy she sitting there looks mildly at me with her eyes. Robert. She eyes Robert's clean press clothes up and down as just as Coming up. Mm -hmm. he, would have, he would have he would have a sh to shake. <coughs> seriously though, what seriously though, what's up with you? Robert says down as his drinks and he looks like it's happy. Doctor says it's seosis of the liver. I told that old bag of bones to play with, with the sauce and it's all he's ever known and especially since mom's gone that's why I invited you out tonight I just didn't want to give up come on uh, Charlie don't be in the house girl. you know that one thing Robert doesn't joke about is his peps happy it's you're giving him two months I'm gonna help him straight from what he's a Robert I'm so sorry Robert takes a long look at his whiskey Eyeing it in the dim glow of the bar's light. I look at his life, at this life, and then I look at mine. I know history is just doomed to repeat himself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's retired with his girlfriend in Alp Yuko. They watch the sunset every night, probably screw like donkeys. I, wait, aren't rabbits the ones who screw a lot? Oh, sorry, didn't realize you were an expert on which animals who screw a <laughs> lot. Stop saying the word screw. Robert finishes his drink and slides it away from him. He gets up. He gets up from the couch. Me and Charlie are gonna hit the bricks. You coming with? Mary casts one glass at the sad cat. She's been hunting and downs the rest of her wine. Ah. This place is dead anyway. <clears throat> we exit the bar and find. And Find a typically empty street filled with a small crowd of people. At the front of is a guy with a really deliberate attitude and bad posture. He carries a lantern that he signs up at his face for a dramatic effect. What's going on? Looks like it's one of those walking ghost tours. They do that in this part of the town all the time. I've wanted to do one of those. Mm. You know all those stories are fake, right? Uh. Pretty much all of those stories are fake. This is really mm. Robert makes a big line towards the back of the group. He turns around when he notices I'm not following him. Come on. We can't just crash it, can we? <clears throat> Don't be such a square, Charlie. Just act like you belong. Robert sidles up to the tour group. I reluctantly swan to step behind him. Oh, here goes nothing. Hey, hey, hey! It was in this place in 1694 that the most famous witch trials were held. Were held. To date, we do not know if the people who were burned at stake were actually witches, but it is widely reported what, that their ghost still haunts this hapless dive bar to this very day. It was actually 1692. Right? That's the good stuff. And the site was over by the coffee shop down the road. I'm sorry, who are you? Daniel McCook is ghost historian, <laughs> and this is my colleague, Doctor. 80s reference, 90s reference, all is reference, contemporary reference. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, 80s, 90s reference. Doctor Prescott, paranormal <laughs> investigator extraordinaire, touring America's most haunted locations as research for our new book. <laughs> You may have seen our guest cameo on up uh, on Paranormal House Hunters Extreme Edition. A couple of people in the group start nodding. Men, Roberts aren't good at this. I am so sad. I are you guys part of group group? I don't remember seeing you at the first stop. We like to keep a low profile, easier to keep close. Oh. Definitely been here. 
been standing next to them the whole time. Thank you, random lady who I do not ah. know. As I was saying, the epicenter of the paranormal activity can be found at the coffee spoon over there. The man who runs it has been plagued by haunting since he signed the lease. Damn near driven him mad. <clears throat> or whatever you want to say is cool. I guess it's your tool. Man, didn't you know about... Didn't that know that about Matt? Wait, Matt's... Robert's making this up. The rest of the tour group listens intently to Robert's every word. I think the tour guide can tell that he's losing the group. He seems to be getting flustered. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your contribution and knowledge, Mr. McSturgis. Let's move on to the next haunted location. Robert, Mary, and I followed the group down the street. That tour guide's shirt is cool. Yeah, everyone in the group gets one if we make it to the final location. I turned to Robert and grabbed him by the shoulders. I need that t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in this for the long haul. Just follow my lead. Don't arouse too much suspicion and we'll have cool ghost shirts in no time. Oh. Our group drives that old deceit colonial style house. Whoa. A quick pause in my tour. My name is Quinn, but most people on the coast to a circuit call me Tour Master Quinn. I'm a DJ, tour, trivia master, and part time actor. Oh, I'm almost done now. Nice. I go private ghost hunting events, birthday parties, MC bar mid first, and perform traditional vol villain mime work. I can't even. Vol de villain. Is that how you pronounce it? Vol de villain mime work. I, d I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, um. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, donate to my Ko-Fi. Um, if you donate, I will shout out your show shows at the end of the video. Um, and you gotta put your show shows in the message as well when you donate. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Sayonara.